Hello everybody and welcome back to another blind commentary of Your Lionator or well, Shikatsu wanna give me no so. Uh yeah, episode two. Yeah. I've been informed quite a few things about this story that it will not go in the direction that I was expecting to go. It will not be a traditional love story, which is just absolutely fine by me because that will just make it far more interesting. It will be quite interesting to see how how this will differ from what I expected. And it will be, even though I've been kind of spoiled already, that it will not go into the direction that I was expecting. I, it's already good to know that uh, it will at the very least be something fresh and new and something that I will, was not expecting. And it's going to be really interesting to see how it will differ from what I thought about. So let's just get on with the show proper, I suppose. <laughs> Interesting. It th that was like a PTSD kind of effect. That's really kind of interesting that it showed up like that. Even though it's clear, it's definitely not PTSD or nothing as severe as severe as PTSD. It's pretty cool that it has very um trauma. That he still has traumatic experiences from the past like that, at the very least. Although considering it's not even, it's something worse than stage fright, and it's more just trauma from the past. It's I suppose you could call it mild PTSD, although I, I think that's kind of pushing the label quite a bit. But that's actually rather interesting. I, I, I was told that the story will be about him overcoming that, um, his fright of play, playing and performing just in general. So it will be really interesting to see how this will develop. I actually like that they are at the very least, like I thought in the beginning of the last episode, I would, I was hoping that they would reference actual classical pieces, and even though I personally do not, uh, I am not very good at recognizing them, um, it's still pretty cool that they are referencing them, even to the smallest degree. It's a small thing, but it's a meaningful thing, at the very least to me personally, so I quite like that little touch there. That is certainly one feeling that I can relate to. The feeling of making mistakes during a presentation or during a performance rather. Even like I hold, held a concert, um, a solo concert just actually less than a week ago. And I let's just say that it didn't really go quite as well as I had hoped for. I will be uploading it soon enough. Or it might already be uploaded by the time that this episode is uploaded, I don't know. So, it's it was certainly uh, not a very good performance, but uh, the feeling of getting stressed while you're playing and you make mistakes, that's certainly a feeling that I can personally relate to quite a bit. So, it's interesting how people can connect with that kind of level, on that kind of le personal level, even through the audience. Now this will be interesting, there's certainly going to be something different about her, so I wonder just what exactly will it be, because th there's no way that the, her performance will turn out the same, so there's just something that will be some different about her, I just wonder what exactly will that be. <laughs> So, that was actually rather surprising. I I was not expecting such improvisation. Well, not even improvisation, but rather... I don't even know what to describe it. It's completely reforming the, reformatting the song. It's... Um, hmm... I know that's something that can be done quite often and especially on pop music and jazz and folk music you do that sort of thing all the time but with classical pieces it's completely well like one of the judges said it is completely blasphemous to do that but it's very 
very interesting. I, 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 like, when I was a little kid, I used to play songs forwards and backwards, like, without a stop, so that I could play them in any kind of order that I wanted. And I kind of did the same thing. But that was on a... That, that's completely on a whole different level. So, it's really... Well, breathtaking is probably the best word for it. It's very interesting, to say the least. Yeah, I'm... I'm very interested in this now. <laughs> Interesting. They were they cho purposefully chose to contrast those two opinions between one another, which is really definitely is gonna be one of the driving motives behind the story. The two driving, the two contrasting motives or or practicing or practicing music just in general, one to entertain audiences and one uh, well. I believe that's what she wanted, to entertain the audiences, or put her whole soul into it. And the other one to do it to place first, so to say. Or, so fun, fun for the soul of the performance and one for the technical, per, per, technical acuity of the accuracy of the performance. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just right. Whoopsie. Okay. So, that was certainly an episode. I don't know, like, this show is really hard to commentate over because I have nothing to say. <laughs> it's just going along at its own pace, so there's nothing really for me to comment on when I, uh, like, unless I, I get a really good chance to, there's really not much for me to say. It's definitely not bad, though, so it, it certainly is an enjoyable show, and even though it's, it really feels like it's going into that rom-com situation, rom-com direction, even though I've been told that it won't go into that direction, but it feels like it is going in that direction quite heavily, so... But I, I don't know, I don't know, it's definitely still enjoyable, and it's it has a lot of intrigue behind it, because it certainly has... Quite a lot of interesting parts to it that are certainly only explorable in this kind of story. So, especially behind uh, the passion that the uh, girl. <laughs> I'm just gonna call her girl. Yeah, that's definitely not bad. But that she puts behind her playing. So, it's definitely um interesting to say the least. So yeah. It's interesting to follow, but it's hard to say anything over it because there's just so much, so much, it's not filler, but there's so much stuff that nothing, nothing noteworthy happens. And it's more just setting the tone and setting the theme for it, which certainly is fine and that's important and it's all good and it's good that this moves at a slow pace, and that's some, something that I like, but it's just something that there's nothing to say at. There's nothing that I can say about it, so I suppose I won't say anything about it. It's just nice and enjoyable, and that's all that I have to say, so, yeah, it's, simply put, it's just a very proficient show at doing what it's supposed to do. It, evokes emotions and feelings quite efficiently that has a very good use of music and visuals and sound and it has a very good balance of sound and color just in general and it has a very playful texture to its um to its uh, drawings just in general so yeah it's it's nice it's it's very nice it's very pleasant to look and listen to, listen to and yeah, I, I like it quite a bit, but it's just something that there I have very little to say about, so... Yeah, so... I have nothing to say. So, yeah, that's about all. Thank you all very much for watching, have a great day and stay awesome. Ganmu, out. Thank you all very much for watching, and sorry that I don't have anything to say.
I enjoy it. Yeah, it's enjoyable.